It's Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Two livestock groups are suing Colorado Parks and Wildlife on the eve of wolf reintroduction. Denver Post reports that lawsuit was filed just this week in federal district court. It accuses the state of fast-tracking reintroduction, and it means to halt it. A voter-approved deadline says new wolves must be here by the end of this year. A new poll shows most people in Colorado think the housing market will get worse before it levels out. The two most important topics we hope lawmakers will tackle, the cost of living and public safety. That bipartisan poll came from the Colorado Polling Institute. Real estate professionals, meanwhile, they're preaching patience with a market that just keeps going up. High country homes in November were selling for 5-10% to more than they were last year, but they were selling slower. So what's the real reason behind a possible fee raise for parking at Frisco Bay Marina? That was the topic at yesterday's council meeting, where longtime slip holder Alita Ford had this to say. If it's really not a money issue, because that's what people think, it's a money issue that you guys are doing a money grab. Parking contractor Interstate wants to raise rates next summer by 50 cents every half hour most days of the week. They say it would open more spaces. Here's one-time councilman Phil Kopp with his take. Intrastate does a good job, but they're a business and they're asking for higher rates. They get more money. Council is still considering those new fees. Colorado and the feds want a new passenger rail line connecting Denver to Steamboat Springs, Hayden, and eventually Craig. Our local state senator Dylan Roberts says it could be done in five years. Vail Daily reports a federal grant will be helping the state expand its front range rail system with plans to extend the existing Winter Park line north to those other three. Authorities in El Paso County suspect murder-suicide after four people were found shot dead in a home in the tiny town of Peyton. Two victims are a husband and wife. The other two are the couple's son and a 30-year-old woman. A fifth unidentified man was found inside with injuries. He is currently recovering. Avalanche danger today is stabilizing in Summit County and the Vail area. It is moderate at every elevation. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Bulls last night, 114-106. Tonight, the Avalanche play the Sabres at 7.30 on TNT. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Today's the opening day of qualifiers at the U.S. Grand Prix at Copper. They're throwing down right now. Tristan Feinberg of Aspen, also known as Taz, he's competing for the first time. And he's just doing what he does. Ultimately, I'm just doing this to have fun every day, even on a competition day. One of my strategies is just taking it as it's just another day on the mountain, having fun and having a good time. See Taz in the main vein superpipe today and tomorrow for ski qualifiers. Finals get going on Friday with Snowboard Big Air and the Ski Superpipe. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.